now with the only tri-state forecast that's independently certified most accurate. Here's Chief Meteorologist Kevin Robinson. Well, today was an absolutely gorgeous day for the tri-state. Tomorrow, well, won't be bad, but it won't be quite as pleasant as it was this afternoon. Matter of fact, a cool start of the morning. Temperatures will be around 35, but hey, any January morning that doesn't start below freezing, we're already off to a good start here. And tomorrow afternoon doesn't look bad either around lunchtime. Expect mostly cloudy skies. Temperatures will still make it into the low 40s tomorrow. Expect some peaks at the sun. There could be a few stray showers around. There won't be a lot of rain tomorrow afternoon, but there could be a shower here. Are there. Any of those showers should be exiting tomorrow evening as it does begin to turn cooler. That will be the big story in the forecast here. Yes, it's going to turn cooler. Yes, there will be more clouds, but by January standards, it's not going to be extreme cold at all. Here's a look outside this evening. The sun is now set behind those increasing clouds, which will be spilling in overnight tonight. 47 degrees at the airport right now. We've got ourselves a west wind out there at around 6. It's 47 in Springboro, 42 Hamilton, Harrison at 42, 48 in Florence, Steelsboro at 48. Still hanging on to 52 in BB. It will be a mild evening. And again, I go back to say that any January evening that you get to spend in the 40s between now and 11 o'clock, it's a pretty good bet out there. So it will be relatively relatively nice across the area this evening. Here's the cold front that will bring the increase in clouds and eventually some cooler weather for the Wednesday and Thursday time frame. But notice there's not a lot of bitterly cold air across the Midwest, mostly 30s and 40s, 50s once you get down into the bluegrass and the Tennessee River Valley. So there's not much cold air to go around, so we don't have to worry about much snow in the forecast. A matter of fact, any of that will stay up well to the north of I-70, Detroit to Cleveland to Chicago. Around here tomorrow afternoon, here's 3 o'clock again. Again, there could be a passing shower, but doesn't look like a big deal. And then as the cooler air begins to kind of pour into the area tomorrow night, skies will turn cloudy. We get to the day on Thursday. We'll start mostly cloudy. We'll break out into some sun. Clear skies Thursday night and a sunny looking Friday will allow those temperatures to bounce back into the 40s again. So yes, cooler, but not terribly cold at all. So 34 for a low tonight as those clouds build in. And then for tomorrow, expect mostly cloudy skies, a cooler day by about some 10 degrees, I think, tomorrow afternoon. Only 44 for a high with maybe a stray sprinkle of flurry out there. Here's your day planner. 35 at 8 a.m., 41 around lunchtime, and then into the low 40s tomorrow afternoon. Here's your seven-day forecast. We will fall below freezing tomorrow night as we drop down to 31. Highs only in the mid-30s on Thursday. That's closer to where we should be for this time of the year. But we're back into the 40s. 40s Friday and Saturday, and I'll keep an eye on what could be a mix of rain and/or snow on Sunday. Kevin, thank.